In this episode of Smart Tech we're talking about the top 5 best laptop for online teaching of 2020. I made this list based on my personal opinion and I try to list them based on their price quality durability and more. If you want to see the price and find out more information about these you can check out the links below in the description and the comment section. Let's get started with the video. At number 5. Asus VivoBook F510 UA. Asus laptop is manufactured in 15.6 Full HD Nanage Anti-Glare display with the finest 1920x1080 pixels resolution and 0.3 bezels. The Intel UHD 620 graphics is perfect for this device, and also the integrated card description. The wider screen with 178 degree viewing angle proves to be a great help for teaching the maximum number of students. Besides, students owning this laptop can also comfortably share it with the fellows while attending the lecture. However, the ergonomic Sheiklet keyboard with fingerprint sensor makes the typing exhausting free. My English teacher used it and I used it all through my teacher training period. The gadget is influenced by four display modes from normal, vivid, eye care to manual. Asus TRU2 Life Video Technology provides the best watching sessions, be it movies, lectures and games. Asus VivoBook F510 UA has Intel Core i5-8250U processor, 8GB DDR4 RAM, and 1TB hard disk drive up to 5400 RPM. Star Gray is the color you will find it in. It has been pre-installed with Windows 10 Home version. With the weight of just 3.7 pounds, you can take it with you daily in the college and university. The 1X USB 3.1, 1X USB 3.0, 2x USB 2.0 and USB-C makes the connectivity of other devices super straightforward. The 802.11 ACK Wi-Fi speeds up to 867 megabits per second. The other details that it maintains are 1x HDMI, 1x South Dakota card and 1x microphone stability. The battery life is 5 hours. At number 4. Apple MacBook Air. MACB00K Air well-known name in business laptops. Because of its security and lightweight nature. Depending on what you're looking for in a laptop, the recent MacBook Air either will delight and deceive you. No doubt it's a very nice piece of kit, as we came to expect of Apple, placed together. It's not going to be for all. This laptop is certainly not its predecessor's market-defining laptop. However, it maintains this iconic thin and light design, while still taking advantage of some significant changes. The latest MacBook Air is actually larger than the original, with sizes of 11.97 x 8.36 x 0.61 inches, making it even heavier and thinner for an even mobile computer. And the MacBook Air case still has the same core structure, so it is 0.16 inches thinner. If lightness strikes your machine, it is the best laptop to carry with you in your meetings. Moreover, it is considered the best laptop for online teaching, because online teaching is something that can be started anywhere. With a 4MB3 Lira cache, that is great on most everyday functions, but not as fast as any of the quad-core processors you can see in competing laptops around this pricing point, such as Dell XPS 13. This 1.6 GHz, Intel Core i5, can boost up to 3 GHz with a dual core. The Apple MacBook Air, 2018, is not as powerful an advocate in this price range for tough work or running various applications simultaneously. To stream live videos plays an important role in online studies. It is packed with a full HD review that provides four times as many pixels as any HD has. So it is the best laptop for online education. Its security speaks of its demand as your fingerprint is its password. It is the most secure system on our list. With its soft trackpad and keys, it is the most comfortable laptop for teaching and business. Moreover, it works with 12 hours of battery charge that is outstanding use of its battery while you are having an online lecture. At number 3. Acer Aspire E5. This is the cheapest option of the entire list, but by no means the worst laptop. In fact, if you take a good look at it, you'll notice it's the best-selling laptop on Amazon. That's mainly because it has the best specs money ration among all laptops for basic tasks. What's particularly interesting about this model is the display. 
it is both a FHD and IPS, that means you'll get the best display quality and the best viewing angles out of the three laptops we've presented so far. The lack of storage can be dealt with an external device and the processor, though a lot less powerful than the Ryzen 7, has about the same performance as the Core i3, so those shouldn't be a problem. As for the specs, the only thing that really bugs me is the 4GB of RAM. Now 4GB of RAM is not going to slow you down to a crawl, but it's definitely going to hurt you if you run several apps and programs at once. I use 4GB of RAM myself and have no problems with it, but mileage may vary that's why I recommended to go at least for 8GBs. 4GB is also not going to be a big problem if you keep Windows S mode, but if you want to install Windows 10 that's when you will lag from time to time. What you can do is either keep Windows S or just upgrade the RAM to 8GB before switching to Windows 10. At number 2. Asus ZenBook Pro 15. If you think the Dell XPS 15 is an overkill for you, you should consider what Asus ZenBook Pro 15 has to offer you. First things first, the laptop offers the same level of performance, thanks to the Intel Core i7 at 2.8 GHz and 16 GB of DDR4 RAM. However, you are getting half the storage space, but still SSD, which works great for performance. So, you can have hassle-free multitasking with this device. When it comes to display, however, things have been downgraded to a 15.6-inch Full HD panel with touch support. Still, with a good resolution of 1920 x 1080 watching movies and games would not be a tough task. It also packs the NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1050T with a RAM of 4GB. This would come in handy if you are into graphics-intensive tasks as well. Comprehensive connectivity is something we loved in the Asus ZenBook Pro 15. You get two Thunderbolt 3 enabled USB Type-C ports and two USB 3.0 Type-A ports. The laptop also offers better speed in terms of Wi-Fi. Last but not least, you can have HDMI connectivity for extra needs. Asus has also packed some extra features like a powerful keyboard, an elegant design and better heat management. When things are said and done, the Asus ZenBook Pro 15 can offer a maximum battery life of 14 hours on a single charge. The battery comes with fast charging tech that pushes the battery to 60% juice in 49 minutes. Of course, the battery would drain faster if you are watching full HD videos or streaming all day. Still, 14 is a great place to start. With a weight of 4 pounds, the Asus ZenBook Pro 15 isn't light, but not so huge either. At number 1. MSI GS65 Stealth. MSI looks rugged and at the same time lightweight. The laptop has all the qualities and features to make your online teaching job a more enjoyable one. It is equipped with an 8th gen Intel Core i7 processor, a 256 GB SSD storage, and 16 GB of RAM. The laptop is also supported by NVIDIA Jeffers GTX 1060 graphics card for more power for more intensive tasks. The speed of this system is also worth mentioning, as it stays relatively stable when we tested it by opening 10 tabs on the browser. This laptop has a 15.6-inch FHD screen with a bezel display that keeps it bright. Moreover, its customizable RGG and backlit keyboard make it an impressive laptop. With the backlit keyboard, you can always work in a poorly lit environment without any issues. There are also lots of ports for connectivity, which is one of the main benefits of having the best laptop for online teaching. And with a battery strength that lasts for 8 hours, you have enough working time on your hands without worrying about an external power source. However, the only flaw is the fact that it could easily get hot, especially while gaming or doing more intensive tasks. But since you're using the laptop for online teaching, it will deliver and still maintain a relatively good temperature. It is highly recommended if you're looking for the best laptop for online teaching. Thanks for watching I hope you liked the video. If you found it helpful please remember to leave a like and subscribe to my channel to see more videos like this in the future. If you have any questions related to these products you can leave a comment below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can.